Well, it's pretty crazy because Ireland isn't a big island and uh, it has, as you say, two different approaches. Northern Ireland follows the UK lead on this and has stuck very rigidly to it. And that means that they stopped testing in the community in a month ago now. So they don't do any testing in the community. They only test in hospitals and for health service staff. Uh, the Republic of Ireland has a, a really different strategy. They test as much as they possibly can. And in the last uh, week or so, their number of tests has increased dramatically. Uh, they have had a backlog, but that's not being dealt with. And uh, they are taking a much, much tougher line in terms of tracking down the virus, contact tracing and isolation. Um, and the big difference is uh, the border. But that's what the problem is, because it's a very open border and people travel back and forwards to work under normal circumstances. Uh, and yet you've got these two different regimes. And it's so different that on one side of a bridge, you can be told that if you have symptoms of the virus, you should isolate for seven days. On the other side of the bridge, in the Republic of Ireland, you'll be told you should isolate for 14 days. And it really needs an all-island strategy to be created. I think it's clear now that uh, the UK is in a difficult position with their strategy, with not doing testing in the community at all. And that puts them quite an outlier amongst European countries. And it's difficult to see how they can move out from uh, the lockdown, from the really strict enforcement of uh, social isolation and social distancing, how they can move away from that without introducing uh, a lot more community testing.